Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be doing an unusual recipe and any of you that know me this time of year I usually make recipes with dandelions. Well today it's going to be a little bit different. It is a seasonal recipe. Today I'll be making lilac lemonade. <music> What all goes into the lilac lemonade? Seven to ten lemons, enough for one and a half cups of juice, one and a half cups of granulated sugar, eight and a half cups of water, ice, and two to three heads of fresh lilac blossoms. This is about three heads. So let's begin. I've been wanting to do this for quite a few years. I don't have a lilac bush. Love, love, love the smell of them. When I lived in South Dakota, I had a couple of lilac bushes. But I was going to do that last year, but when I went there, their lilacs it was already done blooming. So this year, my neighbor down the street, she was kind enough to let me take whatever lilac heads I needed. So take your lilac heads. I did cut the stems down and I did remove the leaves put them in a bowl, and then pour cold water until the lilac heads are covered. And they're wanting to float, so we're gonna push them under. The water has to be cold, and you wanna soak these for a minimum of two hours to overnight. Cut them in half and juice them until you get a cup and a half of lemon juice. Make sure you don't get any seeds or pulp. If you want to see a, another different lemonade that I made, I'll leave the link down below for the dill pickle lemonade. Surprisingly, that was good. So that means we will need it up to the 12 ounces. As you can see, I have a cup and a half of lemon juice. That was 10 lemons that I squeezed. Take a bowl, pour in your lemon juice, and then stick it in the refrigerator to chill for three or four hours. So st take a strainer, I just got a regular colander because the lilacs will not go through the openings. My lilac water has been in the refrigerator for 24 hours. I'm going to strain the lilacs out into a different bowl. They're still in pretty good shape here. Can garnish the lemonade with placing these on top of the lemonade. I haven't decided if I wanted to do that yet or not. And as you can see, there are some little bits in there. I am going to strain it again into a different bowl with my regular sieve. You wanna make sure that you just have the water in there. So I'm going to pour it through here. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see it or not, the little bits that got left behind, we don't want that in the water. Turn on your heat, put in your one and a half cups of sugar, and one cup of the lilac water. And we're going to stir constantly at a simmer until the sugar is all dissolved and pour it into a bowl. Stick it in the refrigerator to cool. So take the last lemon. Luckily, I had 11 lemons, so I do have an extra one here. And just cut them into little medallions. Well, these are gonna be big medallions because this is a super huge lemon. Take your pitcher and put in your lemon slices 
the bottom of the pitcher. Make sure you get rid of the seeds. All right, so we have the lemon slices there. Then add your lilac syrup, which is the lilac water and the sugar. Then add your one and a half cups of lemon juice, which was in my case, 10 lemons, and seven cups of water. And stir that all up. Now, if you want to garnish it with your lilacs, then just take the ones that you had soaked. And since this is actually not a clear picture, you can't really see the lilacs anyway. Then you want to just stick this in the refrigerator until you're ready to serve. And then you can put ice in your glass. You don't want to put ice in this or it's going to end up getting watery. So we'll see you in a little bit. So here is the lilac lemonade. Let's see what Dave thinks. There's a flower in my drink. That is lilac lemonade made out of lilacs. So that's a real flower? That is. And those are in the lemonade? Yeah, it's a lilac infused water. And then I added that with the lemons. Well, it's refreshing. Tastes like lemonade to me. Can't say that, I, of course, I've never eaten a lilac, so I don't know what they taste they like. They say they're edible. They say so. Actually, it tastes like greens. No, that's purple, but it, it kind of tasted like uh, some kind of greens. That's weird. But anyway, the lemonade's good. I like it. Recipe deals for easy meals. Please like, subscribe, and share. This is Cooking with Sherry. Until we meet again.